There are loopholes in the government's energy voucher law. The vouchers will not protect us from price increases. Income thresholds are strict and the proposals in the draft do not include, among others, residents heated by communal boilers. That is, residents of housing communities and cooperatives. Fuel prices will also rise and the Green Deal mandates the replacement of stoves. With our money, how much will we pay for it? Although Poles are supposed to be protected from the July energy price hikes by a special government law, this one already contains loopholes. The energy voucher is not enough for all. And if we're talking about heat sources, not all of them will receive government subsidies. How much will we really pay for the Green Deal in our homes? Today, I'm investigating. Insulating our homes saves us a lot of money and there will probably be good loans arranged for this in order to mobilise us all to save money. This is a surprising credit proposal for Poles with the spectre of impending increases from MEP Rosa Thun. She encourages replacing stoves because an EU directive requires that heat sources in homes be low emission. Why? Because the European Union wants zero carbon emissions by 2050. The cost of related investments will fall on residents and energy price increases will reach all of us. People say it's hard to live, it's expensive to live. They worry about what it will be like in a month. In two, we can stop these increases if there is a citizen's project and pressure on the government. This is an initiative that we want you to support because it is important to you. The Stop the Increases project is a counter-proposal to the government's energy voucher law. Depending on the size of the farm, it will amount to between 600 and 1200 zloty. To get the voucher, you have to fit into the income threshold. This is up to 2,500 zloty for a single person households and up to 1,700 zloty per person for multi person households. The voucher will not cover residents heated by local boiler rooms, including those on estates as in housing cooperatives and communities. We say firmly yes to low prices, yes to high living standards for Poles. Lauren Justice is talking about the cost of the Green Deal. It is 32,000 zloty for each Pole. Meanwhile, according to Climate Minister estimates, energy prices will rise by nearly 30% in the second half of the year compared to the first half. Experts say the increases will be even higher despite the announced exemption from the power fee, which this year is up to 14.9 zloty per month. It will be tens of percent for sure. It is a catastrophe for finances, especially for those poor households. But it will also be felt by everyone. What will happen if the law is passed in its current version? This will cause inflation to rise very quickly and then poverty will spread even more because that will be the effect. This is a very serious problem for families and families with children, for single-person households, for single parents. Those people who spend a lot of money on this energy and now they will spend even more. This is another series of increases after April's price hikes on food and fuel. Editor Hordinska, TV Republica.